Well, welcome to Chapter 5, Lesson 6, the last lesson in Chapter 5. It's the problem-solving investigation. The strategy that we're going to be learning today is to make a table. You can see that I've got my worksheet covered up. My dogs made a huge ruckus at the end of my video, so I had to trash that one. So I'm just going to talk you through it, even though it's already kind of finished. All right, so our story problem is this. Each coaster car holds 18 people. Every minute a new car is filled. So make a table to find out how many people can ride in 60 minutes. So what do we know? We know that 18 people can ride per car. What do we need to find? We need to find the number of people who can ride in 60 minutes. So we're going to plan. We're going to plan to make a table that will show the number of people that can ride in 60 minutes. Right? And they ask us to start by finding the product of 18 and 10. And they do that because 10 is a nice round multiple. It would take us a really long time to build a chart that goes minute by minute. Because in one minute, 18 people can ride. In two minutes, 36 people can ride. In three minutes, 54 people can ride. That's going to take us a really long time to get to 60. So we're working in groups of 10 because zeros are totally our friends. So, we know that 18 times 10 is 180. So for 10 minutes, 180 people can ride. In 20 minutes, well that's double 10, so we can double 180 and we get to 360. So we are going to continue to add 180 because this increases by 10 minutes every time we jump. So we're going to add 180 to each number we get until we get all the way to 1080. And you can see I did my work right underneath. I want you guys working smarter, not harder. So 1080 people can ride the coaster in 60 minutes. Okay? And then they ask us to check our answer. So you can see that 60 times 18 is, 100, is 1080, but I also did an area model just so that you could check, just in case you still weren't completely confident in the mommy-daddy method, okay? So I broke these up into our um, place values, our tens and our ones, and I multiplied it out, and you can see that 600 plus 480 equals 1,080. So now let's turn it over, okay? And here's our next story problem. And it is, there are 20 sea lions in a circus, and each sea lion can juggle five beach balls at a time. How many beach balls will the sea lions need for their act if they all perform at the same time? So what do we know? We know that 20 sea lions, okay, and they can juggle five balls each at a time. Okay, what do we need to find? We need to find the total number of beach balls that this circus is going to need for every sea lion to perform at the same time. And we're going to plan to organize our information in a table. I guess I don't need to write that quite so sloppy. Organize our info in a table. Okay, so you can see I built my table here, okay? And I jumped in increments of five. It seemed simpler than doing one through 20. So we have five sea lions, and if five sea lions um, can juggle five beach balls, then that's gonna be a total of 25 beach balls. And so if that's the case, then if we have 10 sea lions, that means they have 50 beach balls. And if we have 15 sea lions, that means we're going to add another 25. You can see I did my work right underneath. Well, I didn't really do my work. I wrote it, but I didn't really solve it. So we have um, 15 sea lions for a total of 75 beach balls. So 20 sea lions are going to need 100. 75 plus 25 is 100. 20 sea lions are going to need 100 beach balls. So let's check our work. We're correct since we know that 20 times 5 equals 100. 